A pro-Trump attorney named Lynn Wood is urging voters in Georgia, specifically Republican voters in Georgia to sit out the Senate runoff races that will be taking place in the state fairly soon. And the reason why he's doing that is because he wants to essentially spread this ridiculous message, same message that Trump is spreading about unfounded claims of widespread voter fraud. But this story has some twists and turns. So first, let's take a good look at who Lynn Wood is. He held a rally in Georgia. Let's hear what he had to say. Where's Kelly Loeffler here? Where's David Perdue? He ought to be standing right here. Those two people want your vote, then they ought to tell you what we're telling Brian Kemp. Get a special session of the legislature now. Do not be fooled twice. This is Georgia. We ain't dumb. We're not going to go vote on January 5th in another machine made by China. You're not going to fool Georgians again. If Kelly Loeffler wants your vote, if David Perdue wants your vote, they've got to earn it. If Kelly Loeffler and David Perdue do not do it, they have not earned your vote. Don't you give it to them. Why would you go back and vote in another rigged election? For God's sakes, fix it. Now, a little bit of background information on who Lynn Wood is, and then I'll share you some of the responses to what he's suggesting there. Now, Wood has represented a number of conservative clients as a lawyer. You know, a Sheldon Adelson is an example. He represented him. Also, Wood became celebrated on the right after representing a Covington, Kentucky Catholic student in defamation lawsuits, has repeatedly encouraged Trump supporters to boycott the race in a bid to draw attention to what he insists is massive fraud in the state's election infrastructure. But people like Newt Gingrich absolutely disagree with that. Gingrich, in response to Lynn Wood's statements during that rally, said Lynn Wood and Sidney Powell, who was there as well, are totally destructive. Every Georgia conservative who cares about America must vote in the runoff. Their vote, or I'm sorry, they don't vote strat their don't vote strategy will cripple America. And so um, it's just it's pretty incredible because then after this rally, Breitbart did a little bit of reporting and they found some interesting information about Lynn Wood and where he has donated money or which political party he's donated quite a bit of money to. So here's what the Breitbart piece looks like. And you know, they're saying Driftwood, MAGA, a poser goes for sabotage in Georgia, Lynn Wood, major Democrat donor for decades, big checks to Obama, funded Purdue opponent. And um, believe it or not, Trump supporters have turned on Breitbart because they feel that Breitbart is unfairly trashing Lynn Wood. Now, here's what the body of the article says, because it is incredibly important for you guys to know like what this is all about and what the allegations are. So they think he's a democratic plant, right? I don't know what the truth is, but here's what we do know. In 2017, Wood gave a whopping $12,600 to Georgia Democrat gubernatorial candidate Stacey Evans, who was then later beat in the Democratic primary by Stacey Abrams, by the way. In 2017 and 2018, Wood has donated thousands and thousands of dollars in Georgia to state Democrats. He gave $2,000 over three separate donations in 2018 to Ken Hodges, a Democratic judge on Georgia's appeals court. For his campaign back in 2010, Wood gave another $4,200 over several donations to Hodges. He also, in June of 2018, gave $2,600 to Democrat State Senator Zara Karinshak. And um, I should also know, and I, I, I don't think this means anything because Trump has done the same thing. Breitbart was like, ironically, in both 2020 and 2016 general elections, state records show that Wood. <gasps> Voted absentee by mail in Georgia, part of the same system he's now railing against. Yeah, like Donald Trump, like Donald Trump does that. He votes by mail. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Okay, so this is an awesome story. <laughs> um, number one, um, one of the lines of the year, this is Georgia, we ain't dumb. Okay, if you say so, at least the right wingers. Uh, so <laughs> I, I have some skepticism 
uh, around that comment uh, when it comes to the Republicans in that state. Okay, so uh, and he says you ain't gonna fool Georgia again. Well, you might know a thing or two about fooling Georgia again, uh, but that's not the best part. That's that's an awesome part of the story, but still not the best part. The best part is now Newt Gingrich and Breitbart are apparently part of the deep state. That's it. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, if we if we were making that up to troll them, it would be so outlandish no one would believe it. But yes, the Gateway Pundit now thinks Breitbart is is part of the conspiracy to hurt Trump. Breitbart yeah. is. Yeah. Can we actually go to that headline? Yeah. Because Gateway Pundit responded to Breitbart by saying, what the hell? Breitbart wages war against attorney Lynn Wood, who is def uh, defending President Trump against evil Marxist horde. Lynn Wood response. <laughs> so wait a minute, wait a minute. Now Breitbart is Marxist. It's they're with the Marxist horde. <laughs> I mean, there's no end. To it. There's no end. Breitbart makes Fox News look like it makes Fox News look like Jimmy Carter. Okay, that's how insanely right wing Breitbart is. Not enough. Not enough Marxist. <laughs> I mean, look, we tell Democrats all the time. It doesn't matter if you call yourself a moderate and a centrist and oh, don't do Bernie Sanders, he's socialist. They're gonna all call you Marxist anyway. They called Obama Marxist. Now they're calling Breitbart Marxist because no yeah. one is pure enough. That's why I think eventually the QAnon and Deep State and all and Gateway Pun, all those guys are gonna go far enough into the rabbit hole that it's gonna go all the way around and they're gonna be like, oh my God, we found the actual deep state Marxist. It's done. So it, it gets it gets better. It, it really does. Um, so what's interesting is how much backlash there is toward anyone who criticizes Lynn Wood or uh, suggests doing the opposite of what Lynn Wood is urging people to do. Which again, he's urging people to sit out uh, the elections, the runoff elections that will determine which party is going to control um, the Senate. And so uh, the Trump campaign felt the need to actually chime in on this, this whole debacle. And here's what they had tweeted earlier, records. Lynn Wood has for decades voted for, donated to Democrats, including Barack Obama and David Perdue's 2014 opponent. So that's the Trump War Room Twitter account that posted that. And then they later followed it with you know, urges, or they followed it with a tweet urging people in Georgia to show up and vote for the Republican candidates in those runoff elections. Okay, now uh, let's give you the other side. Lynn Wood has given over three hundred thousand dollars to a Trump PAC. That's at least that's what he claims. I mean, I don't know what if that guy ever tells the truth about anything, but uh, he has given to Republicans way more than he's given to Democrats. He, uh, he's worked with Sheldon Adelson, Herman Cain. He's the one that defended that student uh, that sued uh, the papers uh, in the Capitol. Uh, you know that. The guy who was wearing the kid who was wearing the MAGA hat, etc. So, um, I mean, look, we're going to ask you guys in a poll uh, what you guys think. In fact, let's do it now. Uh, so, it's tyt.com/slash/polls. Overall, gives you all of our polls, but in this case, it's slash polls slash Lynn Wood if you want to be specific. Uh, so, uh, is Lynn Wood true MAGA all the way? A brilliant Democratic troll. And by the way, if that's true, I'm going to declare him champion of the world. It would be the greatest trolling operation in the history of mankind as he's trying to get Republicans in Georgia to not vote for the Republicans in Georgia. It, it, it's amazing. Uh, and, and number three is a garden variety opportunistic grifter, uh, you know, representing both sides to try to make as much money as possible, basically. I'm a little torn on this one. I, I, I'm torn between A and C. Um, at first, I was entertaining B that he was King Troll. Uh, but I think that the Republicans are so crazy these days that they're accidentally trolling themselves. So I think Lynn Wood really believes voting against Republicans in Georgia will help Republicans in Georgia. I think he believes it. I would love for it to be B, which is a brilliant Democratic troll. Um, I've yet to find one, <laughs> so at least uh, you know. In 
it on this level. Uh, but I think the reality is he's just an opportunistic grifter. This is a way to get his face out there. Um, he's clearly made some money uh, representing uh, certainly those Covington teens. There's no question about that. There was a pretty big settlement when it came to that case. Um, and so he, he's gonna do what he needs to do to get his name out there, his face out there. I don't think he really cares. I think at the end of the day, he is an opportunistic grifter. As we've learned, many people in this country unfortunately are in the media, especially. Yeah, so last thing about this guys, uh, well, one and a half. Newt Gingrich, um, remember, if you're wondering if he's deep state, he was the head of the establishment Republicans. And I mean, Speaker of the House for all that time kind of built the swamp. So now as he's turning on Trump supporting lawyer Lynn Wood, is he deep state? I don't know, that's for MAGA to decide, it's not for me to decide. But don't lose sight of what the most important part of this story is, which is, Who's gonna win those Georgia elections? Because that will decide the Senate. And and at this point, new poll out. And yes, now even me, I'm very wary of polls. But Ossoff leading by two and a half points, that's still within the margin of error. And Reverend Warnock leading by seven points. So the Democrats are leading in both races. And I honestly don't know what Republican voter turnout's gonna be. Because you know my thesis, they're actually crazy. So. It, it might turn out that voter turnout for Republicans are, is super low um, and then they lose those races. But I don't know and I'm super curious to see which way the crazy ball is gonna roll. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.